drama boy wow i actually love that one i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and of course it's playing right here on karaoke live the hashtag like i told you before is hashtag karaoke y254 find me at, at feelingjun across all social media platforms i'm talking about snapchat twitter instagram and of course not forgetting facebook right or well, slide into our dms let's know let us know actually what we can play for you on the next show and that brings us to unscripted and you know how we do we have different artists coming through just sharing with us their journey how they've been where they've been and all that and today we have these crazy awesome artists from the 254 he goes by the name of k mo i'm sure all of you know what he's all about let's check him out yay like i told you he is right here on karaoke k mo and the team on a job let me introduce below now as i mean let me just give you the mic i love to check out your team chrissy manzayama hey swana this is professor kamore aka k mo now see who say you came to manaki on a way so people are ready Hey. Oh, mera bwana, you know this is Musimu wa Christmas. Mm-hmm. Unajua nimesikia watu wakikuita mudosi. Mimi ndio nakuita boss. Fine, I will do this. Eh, when you when you when you boss lady. Wewe una kuko na kakiru maze hapa kume. Nasikia kitu hivyo this Musimu wa Christmas. Toke mio. This trend is leading to the pocket. What are you kita song kwa ama ukikita mudosi ati wewe msafi. Nimeambiwa wasafi tena. Eh, ukiitwa wasafi. Ukiitwa wasafi wewe ndio unalipa bill. So, the bill ni yako. Chanu kama ze usikubali. Anyway, so welcome to this show. this is your first time on karaoke. Yeah, hey, this first time yango actually. Uh-huh. Yeah. Welcome. So much, But this is not the first time I'm meeting you though. Yeah, we met some while back. Mimi nakumbuka niko na memory. Yeah, mimi nakumbuka. In 2016. Yeah, two years ago eh. Uh, yes. But it's amazing huh? Eh? Yeah. So mimi mimi na appreciate ku ku ni ku ni invite kwa issue. Karibu sana. Nilijua tu mzee wewe utakuwa perfect for this Christmas. Do you do actually since 2016 tangu time ya Vitima. Mm-hmm. Kulikuwa na Vitima alafu Vitima remix mm-hmm. ile ya kuku zinapigwa rani. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. So after that, alafu we came to last year there was a Christmas song um kulikuwa mm-hmm. inaitwa nini? Uh Christmas. Ile ni ulifanya na Pastor Kanyesto kwa nini? Kabi wa Jesus, oh, yeah? Ah, ilikuwa haikuwa well, haikuwa uh, Christmas song per se. Uh-huh. But ilikuwa ilikuwa close to Christmas season. Yeah. So wasoka yeah. tukunyanika Christmas, Christmas song but uh, yeah. I love seeing her this time there's another Christmas song is yes. that a thing uh, unataka kwa theme like every Christmas you have a Christmas song Ah uh, not necessarily I think ni mm-hmm. ni coincidence na events that's <laughs> may happen eh <laughs> that actually the only Christmas songs nimekuwa nazo ni 20 year 2016 mm-hmm. na hii 2018 2017 right. sikuwa na Christmas song mm-hmm. kwasi if let really happen that yeah. nearly release close to christmas right so na na ika pick yo mm-hmm. period of christmas yeah. so watu wakadhani eh kumbe hii ni christmas song nyingine christmas song <laughs> oh now but the another one came out time your world cup also i forgot to ask about exactly. that yeah. so ni say any ni seasonal somehow ama ah naweza sema hivyo we mimi napenda napenda kuwa na seasons pia Season, eh. yeah, so yeah, that yeah. usikuwe out of season mm-hmm. Nika watu na watu watu wako kwa wedo una imba songs za za funeral unaona <laughs> so kiasi kiasi nataka kuwa in season so yeah. that at least niko in line na film mm-hmm. na time yeah. na na kitu ina happen hiyo period of time right mm. well welcome to karaoke me kwanza nataka ku like since you guys started yeah. mianza na um, uh, Okay, there's Kimo and mm. there was uh how, why am I forgetting Stiga. his name? Stiga, yeah. yes, Kimo yeah. and Stiga. Yeah. I didn't mean yeah. brand by the way. Chapter Kimo, chapter Stiga. Adam mtu akwana jua Kimo ni nani, Stiga ni nani. I think the hair helped. Kidogo. Eh? <laughs> 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 there were one you remember nani? Yeah. yeah, so how has your life changed since that? Since Kimo uh, by the way. Uh, I can say I've, I've always evolved, eh? I, mm. I've always evolved in terms of music. Right. Because I've always uh, I've been in the music industry for Let me not say in the industry, let me just say in the music yeah. uh profession yeah. for quite some time. You know, right. uh for me it's been an evolution, eh? Because mm-hmm. I evolved from uh, Samawati band, yeah. I came to Kemo and Stiga. Mm-hmm. Now I'm doing solo projects. Right. And all a while I've st- I, I was still evolving in terms of like uh the style of music I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So the kind of music I was doing while I was in the band was really yeah. conservative kind right. of music, eh? Mm-hmm. And when I When I started working with Stiga we went a bit more contemporary more yeah. more pop in terms of style and I'm still maintaining that pop but I'm now a solo artist 
So it's so been long. an evolution. It's yeah. been a journey. Yeah. Um, did you ever feel the pressure, like after BT Mob? Because yeah. th- that's the song that put you on the map. It, yeah. it gave you a platform, yeah. and it was a really big song. It actually became your brand. Sure. Did you ever feel the pressure, like after that? Now, what am I going to do? Did that ever get to you? Because. Yeah. Um, having another bigger song than that one, do sure. you ever feel the pressure? Like number two, it added, it, will people feel it? I mean, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Well, I, I can say the pressure is always there. Yeah. The pressure is always there. Mm-hmm. But for, for an artist, for someone who is, you see, we are creatives. That's right. who we are. We, sure. we, shape, we shape the world, we shape reality through music. Yeah. So for someone like me, it's, it's, if you are able to overcome the fear, if you're able to overcome that, uh, fear of like, am I gonna do something like that? Mm-hmm. You're able, you will actually be able to create even much more because right. we are creatives. That's what we do. We create whatever comes to us through inspiration. Yeah. Right. That's what we put out to the society. Right. So uh, I can say there was that fear, but mm-hmm. still at the same time, I somehow or we somehow were able to kind of like contain it, mm-hmm. and we were able to come back with you know big ho- uh, hit songs like. Uh, that the Giri was a yeah. was a major bang. Yeah, that was, uh, and that was actually <laughs> after the team. Yeah, apparently did even it did even way much better than the team. Than the team, yeah. Yeah, you can see that on the YouTube views, eh? Right. Kind of shika, you know. Kind of yeah, yeah, we had great jams, you know. <laughs> okay, one thing I actually recommended you guys for uh, um, on this show, I actually yeah. host a lot of uh, upcoming artists. Uh-huh. Some of them, it's actually their first time sure. to uh, ever mm-hmm. appear on an interview, mm-hmm. and we give them platform. Mm-hmm. But one thing that they always complain about is the mm-hmm. fact that um, we don't have money mm-hmm. to shoot the videos, mm-hmm. to pay the producers. Mm-hmm. But I commend you guys because when you first released the Tima, yeah. you shot the music video with a phone. Sure. Yeah, so maybe you can just tell guys to inspire an upcoming artist. Sure. Sure. Just tell them how you did it. Uh, <laughs> as I want to be, uh, use what you have. Imagine. Right. Use yeah. the resources you have. Mm-hmm. Actually, the reason we did with the phone it's not like we didn't have equipment yeah that should be very clear eh? mm-hmm. uh just to set the record straight eh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a demonstration yeah because i've always had these artists coming to me with the same story yeah true telling me that they don't have money mm-hmm. uh how can i sponsor them and all that so i wanted to make like a demonstration or rather mm-hmm. we wanted to make like a demonstration that you can actually step forward right and do your stuff mm-hmm. And you don't need to have this big red dragon camera and a stuff. A budget exactly. and stuff, yeah. Use the resources that you have. Because yeah. for sure, you have some resources, for sure. Mm-hmm. Just use what you have. You actually know someone who has a smartphone if you don't own one. Yourself. Exactly. All right. Mm-hmm. Great. I love you, sister. Um, I want you to set the record straight. Mm-hmm. Because um, you and Stiga have been friends. I'm sure you're still friends. Very but much. some people don't know that. They think like uh, because you don't, you're doing solo projects, it's because of something, maybe monetary issues or something happened. No. That's why you're not working together. So I want you to set the record straight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, music is quite interesting. Eh? Yeah. And it kind of like takes life and a shape of its own. Yeah. Eh? Mm-hmm. So, stepping out as, as a solo artist, and even him stepping out as a solo artist, mm-hmm. is, was really much of a, it, it's a choice. Yeah. It's not like some, some kind of other force forced us, like, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, money issues, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. In fact, what's an equation? Yes, show me, show us, yes. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have receipts, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just wanna, I just wanna show you uh-huh. the people I've been talking to. This, right. this is this is this yesterday. yesterday. No, this is yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Okay. This is yesterday. Uh, huh. Still yesterday. Who's this? Right. Still guy. Exactly. Yesterday. Yeah. And, that, and that was yesterday. So. Right. So but we, I like so still, how you guys are using your artistic names. I know him saying Stiga. You know his real name, but you're like Stiga. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and your phone is ringing. So, um, Chris. I'm not going to be Chris. I'm not going to Chris. So, definitely. All right. So, um, how is it working by yourself? Because you are from a band, yeah. and then you joined um, another guy. You work together yeah. as the two of you. Yeah. Now you're doing solo projects. How yeah. is it working by yourself? Uh, I like the challenge yeah. because, uh, as you can see, I've been working with groups, yeah. and that means that I've not been thinking alone. Yes, you rely on other people to come through. Exactly, always, yeah. I'm, I'm always, you know, we are always like trying to brainstorm, trying to come up with uh, different ideas. What are we going to do next? Right. Uh, can we change this verse? Can we make it better? Mm-hmm. Uh, how about the bridge? You understand? Yeah. 
it's it's all it's it's been really working together in terms of like a team but right now yeah. i'm working alone like you know i'm producing myself yeah uh and i'm also like you know singing me is i'm coming out as a solo artist <laughs> so it's a challenge yeah but i wanted the challenge right so that i could know and see how far i can go as right. as me as came on yeah. as a brand is. awesome and like um Okay, I don't know. Most people actually know this. You are a father now. That is another challenge. Tell us about that. How is parenting taking you? Parenting is crazy, man. Uh, it's, it's a whole different experience. It's mm -hmm. a new experience for me. Right. Uh, but I can say I'm loving it. Yeah. And the fact that you can look at someone that uh, looks somewhat like you, you know? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's an amazing experience. Uh, right. Experience to, uh, knowing that you're actually responsible mm -hmm. for someone. Yeah. And in as a core interesting sana cuz <laughs> first of all vile mtu hiyo alikam through yeah cuz I, I i took my wife to the country to give birth eh? yeah and it was somewhat very challenging me me kwanza dear labor nilikuwa yani nilikuwa natetemeka yani okay now go oh we go go pa we go go pa cuz you have to see cuz na yani you can see the pain she's going through and she yeah. she went through labor for like 36 hours you know that's a lot and i was there you know yeah. wana mwengi you help her baki jo ameenda labor ana but me i was there i was there all the way and finally i kind of got to see her but the good thing is that she made it me niko niogopa kabisa niko naona hapa hii hapo itakuwa noma kidogo but me na thank god sana because she made it now and i am now proud to be a father of your father and yes. a husband and a husband yes. oh, amazing and so you know you've been in the gospel industry for yeah. a while now so some people you'll find that they start with gospel after a while it's doing you know, on a secular kuna vile events ni mingi sijui ni nini kidogo you attempted do you ever feel that ama do you ever feel the pressure from friends or someone just to wana kuchota maybe you ingia secular has more money or something like that and is it something you'd ever consider well I, uh, first of all that's a good question eh? yeah. I, i think uh, what people lack like in the music industry like most artists they don't have accountability like accountability partners you understand mm -hmm or like a team like you know people who advise you or people that you're working together mm -hmm. because that's what you need so you find that you're really working alone and yeah. there are so many things that are going to pull you towards a direction yeah. to drift you off yeah. your purpose so i what i would like really urge people or rather artists is to get people they are accountable to like yeah. me you look accountable kwa sake kadha yeah. as in kuna kitu best yangu flani let me just say like Kina mm -hmm. Kabio Jesus, yeah. very close friend of, yeah, friend of mine. Yeah, you guys are very, yeah. very close. And even yeah. Stiga and, and, and all the rest of other friends yeah. that are really close to me. Kuna kitu hawezi ni imagine, ama mimi mwenye siyezi ji imagine, what you think ni medu, una get? Yeah, true. Because what is a kuwa like, ah, no, una get? Ah, yeah. No, but when you're walking alone, there's you're not accountable to anyone, yeah. so you can do anything anyway. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So, I would really urge gospel artists to look for people who they are accountable to yeah. so that they are not tempted to maybe make a wrong choice or go the wrong way and they can borrow yeah. a, a, and I feel also like maybe church helps if you stay in church maybe church, that's it yeah church, <laughs> see church obviously you yeah. account, accountability partners yeah, right? because that's how you get to fellowship you get in a mm -hmm. group mm -hmm. you get in uh, uh, people that you share and walk the same journey with right. and you share uh, same experiences mm -hmm. and that really helps Great. that really helps Okay, yeah. so um, uh, today you're here to launch another Christmas song, guys. Another one. We have another one just for Christmas. Dunguda. Did I get that yes. correctly? Did I get well, it right? It's, it's written Dunguda. <laughs> Dunguda. But it's supposed to be pronounced Dunguda. Dunguda. Yeah, exactly. Dunguda is, is the also, right What does that even mean? Dunguda means like shake body. <laughs> hey, shake body. So it's a dance? Yeah, it's a dance. Like, you know, shake your body. Like, don't go there. Oh, oh it's yeah. And it's just right. Like, it's the right time to drop it. Sure. Christmas sure, time sure. when guys are supposed to have fun. At least work. What we funga kazi. You just have fun with mm. family and friends and mm. all that. So tell us about it. How did uh, how did it come about? Dongoda is a is a word. It's it's actually a kikuyu word to me. Like you know, dance, shake body, or mm -hmm. do whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay, do the right thing. As <laughs> I do say, I do whatever. I love you. Yeah. Uh, well, originally, I I also like kind of wanted to shift a little bit. If you've right. noticed, mm -hmm. it's not it's not like how I've been dropping jams yeah. almost in the same genre. Yeah. 
this time is a bit different because it's a it's a it's a lingala kind of dance. Eh? Yeah. I and saw so, that. Yeah, and, and so I'm one, feeling that Lingala vibe. You're actually. feeling the Lingala vibe. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's actually different from what you're used to. Sure, yeah. thanks. Mm-hmm. So I really wanted to kind of like change the, uh, shift the style a bit mm-hmm. and show, not go so far from what <laughs> I do, yeah. but still kind of like, you know, shift the style Kidogo. Right. So I came up with this idea of Dongoda whereby you can actually dance and enjoy mm-hmm. because Lingala is more like a dancing kind of music, you understand? Mm-hmm. And, and that's what I wanted to give up. So, the Dongoda original song came yeah, uh-huh. in Oct- came out in October. Right. So, like in Chrissy, it was a bit too close. So, mm-hmm. I decided to do like a rendition of that particular right. song. Mm-hmm. But the video is dropping in January. Like the original video. But all I saw the Dongoda. video on YouTube. All this, is, this is Dongoda Christmas rendition. Oh, oh, yeah, it's written oh, like very, oh, yeah. very clearly. <laughs> Dongoda Christmas rendition. Right. But there's Dongoda original version. Yeah. And the audio is also on YouTube, but there's no video for it. Mm-hmm. But the video is dropping in January. Oh, yeah. amazing. We're looking forward to that. Yes, so, you want to show us the dance that uh, we do together? You want to show us the no, I don't show. dance? Yes, I'm all about that. Please, let's do that. Right? Let's go home and get a dance. Right? I'm going to go to the dance. 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 Okay, let's do this. I'm excited. I love that. What do you think about the dance? I know, Maze. 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 Uh, Kmo the Tima, like K A Y. Yeah, K A Y the Tima. Tell us now, who did better? Ni Haflu, ni Mimi, Amani, yeah, yeah, right? And follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting that. Right. Yes. <laughs> follow him on Instagram. Okay, we'll get to that. Yes. But first things first, there is this thing. Um, so I host a show right uh-huh. here on uh, White Rafa. It's called uh, actually called Rock Tour. Apart from karaoke, there's Rock Tour. Oh. So we play rock music. And what? Guess what I find out? He has a rock song. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting that you brought it. <laughs> You brought this up, eh? yeah, and you just like a rock star, by the way. Look, look at you, yeah, you, you look like a rock star, sort of just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like really love I'm mm-hmm. passionate about rock music. Yes. I think if if the Kenyan music industry was to like uh, embrace rock. that kind of style, yeah. I would really like go go deep 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 deep. Yes, and we featured you now. There's uh, there's a segment on Rock Tour we call it uh, Play to Trash It. Sure. So if the song is fire, yeah. we keep it on the playlist, people get to vote for it and now mm. uh, you're not the last one on that one. So I was like, mm. Mm, oh, good stuff. It's, like, it's called uh, Save Me. Lord. Save me again. Save me again. So me again. It's amazing. Yes. You guys should check it out on YouTube. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Anyway, so before we leave, before we go anywhere, I have some 10 questions I need to ask you. I used to do this and then I just took a break, but I feel like uh, I should bring it back just a little bit. So we Who have 10 questions. Question? 10 random questions. Well, so here are the rules. Mm. Uh, Okay, so come on, ni yes or no, you just mm. answer. Come on, you have a but no explanation. Yes? It's a yes or no. Yes or no, and if it's just one answer, you say one answer, but you don't give us the explanation. So, all right, so, so here we go. The last time you cried, is that a yes or no? What do you no, you tell us the time. <laughs> don't explain, don't tell us. Oh, okay. but you know, I was crying because ah, no, okay. no explanation. <laughs> you just, all right, all right. last time you all right. cried, last year, mm-hmm. last present you got your wife, uh, this year. You want to know the present? Flowers. What was the what was your best pinch me moment of your life? Uh, I don't remember, to be honest. All right, any tattoos? No. Spell karaoke. K A R O. No. <laughs> All right, moving on. What's the most common mispronunciation of your name? Kaimo. Kaimo, right. Um, what's the shortest verse in the Bible? Which book? Jesus wept. Mm-hmm. The book? Matthew. If I'm not wrong, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. 
Which town was Jesus born in since it's Christmas? It's Bethlehem. Okay. Best Christmas childhood memory? Mombasa tour. Mombasa tour. All right. So the last question. This is the 10th question. Ask me one question. How old are you? <laughs> I demand an answer. And, <laughs> okay. I never said an answer. I just said, ask me a question. That was the rules. <laughs> I never promised back. anything. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> moving on. So um, we want to know our uh, what should your fans expect from you now? Christmas is here, but it's almost done. Yeah. Moving forward, do you have any other projects you're yeah. working on? Guys oh, yeah. should know about. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I I don't really like talking about like my forthcoming projects because mm -hmm. anything can happen. You never know. But yeah. I have lots of lots of plans that I'm planning to. Yeah. Release mm -hmm. 2019, right? And also lots of collabs. Expect lots of collabs, mm -hmm. not uh, from Kenyan artists per se, but yeah. even like from other countries. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to the team up. All right. So, uh, you have any New Year message or Merry Christmas message or just an inspiration when I like guys know out there at home? Okay, don't go. Okay, Jesus. Okay, Teremuka. Okay, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Hey. Kumbuka that Jesus is the reason for the season. Ata ukichinja kakuku, ata ukichoma kambusi, ata ukibonda sembe, ata ukiteremsa kasoda, or whatever it is, kumbuka that Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes. That is amazing. All right, so before you get out of here, you have any shout outs, anyone you want to appreciate before we let you go? Yeah, I just want to appreciate my family, want to mm -hmm. appreciate my wife, want to yeah. appreciate my my siblings, my mm -hmm. sister, my bros, my, my dad and mom. Yeah. Uh, they really support me, like, you know, they, they push me forward. To, right. uh, and also the team that I work with in terms yeah. of, like, you know, my music. Yeah. And I really want to appreciate my fans, Wangu Water, Asante, is Sana, 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 Sana. Now I appreciate Sana, God. Awesome. Our bless. Amen to that. All right, so um, I want you to take us on a break, or on a musical break, so that guys can get to listen to your song sure. and then tell them you, we're coming back. You can do that for us? Sure. All right. Uh, so what do I say? Go. I can tell you what to say. That's why it's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, <laughs> we're going on a break. Don't tell me. Yeah. Tell them. Are we coming back? <laughs> we're going on a musical break. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so asante ni sana kwa kuendelea kuwatch karaoke sasa tunataka kute uh, kutek uh, yani kuteremka yani kutek a break a musical break and we shall be back sotili